Hey fam, today we're on a mission to find out if Indian food is better in Malaysia or America. What do you think? Kai Kai, you good? You ready for Indian food? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, Zay Zay? I want sushi. You want sushi? We're gonna go eat some delicious Indian food. Trust me, it's gonna blow your mind. Okay fam, we are here in Pleasanton. It's about 20 minutes drive from our house. Uh, in my favorite Indian restaurant in America. It's called... Upper Kade. I don't know if I'm saying it right, Upper Kade. Yeah, okay, anyway, so it's a South Indian restaurant, which means that they, they probably have a lot of the similar stuff of the Indian food in Malaysia. It's empty. <laughs> Too early, yo. It's actually, I just reserved the whole restaurant just to be empty for this vlog. This That's is white people dinner time. This is. Hi, <laughs> right, table for four. Okay. All right. Whew. They have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want that? Okay. So the goal is we have to order all the same things that we have tried in Malaysia and they have available in Malaysia, right? Okay. So that's a fair comparison. That's true, okay. Sese, what do you want? I don't have any, so I don't know what. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Oh, idi appam, that's what we have in Malaysia. We got idli, we got dosa. Briyani, prata, which is. Oh, briyani, I forgot to say that one. Yeah, briyani, then prata, which is. Roti jana in Malaysia. Uh, we got appam. And a bunch of curries. Curries. Cool. Okay, so the tea is a little bit stronger um, and a little spicy. I feel like the tea in Malaysia is a bit more spicy, but this feels like they use real like whole cream milk versus like condensed milk. Um, I really like it. It's good. It's a big dosa. It's a big Ooh. giant dosa. Okay. And the uh, is like this. so much Oh, perfect. Okay. It's so giant. huge. It's like First impressions, it's so much bigger than the dosa in We Malaysia. told you American sizes. But also the price is like way more. <laughs> so much more. Way, way more. Like 25 times more. <laughs> don't don't even try to compare the prices. Okay. So I like that they have like all the same, almost like the similar chutneys and yeah, all. Yeah, chutney. It's like the coconut chutney, sambar. Okay, trying with the coconut chutney. I'm gonna try the sambar. Okay, Kai, Kai Kai right now is going dip a dip a dip a dip. Which is how he asked for dip dip. Kai Kai, what do you want? Dip dip? <laughs> so the only big difference is it's so much bigger here, but obviously we can't compare that because price here is way more. Uh, but they taste very very similar. Very I'm similar. surprised. Very it similar. It tastes authentic. Mm -hmm. Mom, it tastes like just the one in Bereza. It does. Yes, right, it is. Yeah. See? Kids, they can't lie. They don't lie about food for sure. Oh, look. Okay, next, we're going to be trying the um, idiopum. I don't know if you can see. String hoppers? Oh! Oh! 
Good thing it landed, it landed on the plate. String hoppers. Okay, and we have like coconut milk, which is kind of nice that they serve it on the side. Um, let's dip it in. Try it. My first impressions is that the spring hoppers break so easily compared to the one in Malaysia, mm. and it's hot. In I Malaysia, like it's usually cold. I like it hot. It's nice, it's hot, but I don't like that it's like, it breaks. It's, it's harder to eat, for sure. Yeah. Oh, lots more food coming. Mm. Oh Mom. my goodness. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, so my reflections of the spring hopper is I'm not really a fan of like how it breaks apart so easily. But I do like that they serve this on the side. And the coconut milk here has like a spice to it. Yeah, a little spice like a little, little, little tiny kick to it. Mm -hmm, which is nice. Like not weird spice, but nice spice. Okay, also the uh, sambar. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, sambar arrived like this. Very hot, very hot. So I'm gonna try the spring hopper with, oh, and the, some? Ooh, with the sambal. Yeah, it definitely falls apart. I don't like that because so it's hard to dip in things, but okay. the texture's nice. Sambar is spicy. I like it. It's very, very like, has all the elements of what a sambar should have. And so I like it. We, we got two, so mm. you guys can see. Two arrived and we got lots more food. Oh, dipped it. Okay, okay, guys, sambar's good. I'm gonna have like kinda dip it in. You want to dip dip? Little Mama, dip. Mama, the spring hop is not bad, but... Is it good? Yeah. Is it spicy? <laughs> Dude, that thing is so spicy. These guys are just like eating. Dead Poor hand. kid, it's like pretty spicy. <laughs> he he gave like, like a... Is it tough, buddy, eating that? You like it? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Italy. I think again, similar to the appam, it's like breakable a bit more. Nothing wrong with that. I think it's fine. It's really soft and moist. Ooh, I think it's like the softest of Italy I've seen. Mm -hmm. so oh gosh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some of the curry here so we can eat it. Oh, smart. Choice. With the sambar. Without having the whole thing fall in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. The texture is um. It's much softer, it's much more, like, not cr it's crumbly, but mm -hmm. like, not dry crumbly. Mm -hmm. It just kind of like melts. What I'm noticing about the sambar oh, too. So more food coming. More food coming. Okay, anyway, uh, sambar is a little bit more lighter, so a bit more watery here compared to the one in Malaysia, but still really good. I still like it. It goes really well with the sambar and idiapam. Mm -hmm. Not complaining at all. But now we want to jump into the palapam? Appam. 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 So here they don't call it palapam, it's just called appam. It's really big as you can see and it's already like demolished. They came with two. And the boys loved it so much they ate it they so fast. They ate it all. Fast. Before we could get to it, they already ate so much of it. That's fine. Um, we're going to eat it with the coconut milk. It's really good. Really good. I think I like the Malaysia one a bit better. It's flakier. It's flakier at the sides, but in the <laughs> middle it's so thick. That's true. This one is a bit more even all across. Look at that. It's like a bit more even all across. Where else the Malay? Yeah. Right? Yeah. The Malaysia so one is like the thick Malaysia in the middle. Like really thick in the middle, but crispy on the sides. Mm -hmm. This one's like kind of equally spongy throughout. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up. Famous roti chanai. It was on my lap because I was hiding the last one from the boys. Oh, there's one more left? Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> there's one there, the boys are demolishing. They're eating way faster than we are. Okay, first and foremost, observation of how it looks like. It's more condensed and it's like smaller. It's more like smaller in size, but it's thicker, right? Yeah, it's very thick. Yeah, and the top part of it is a bit more like a crispier, I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess it's more bit, cooked. Yeah, more cooked, like more crispy. Right? Like I feel like it's cooked in more oil, so it kind of has like that fried texture to it. Mm -hmm. Like like yeah, exactly right. Like more deep fried. Mm -hmm. You cannot go wrong with fried dough. Mm -hmm. It's delicious, but it's not as like light and fluffy. And airy. Yeah, and flaky. Yeah, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but I hundred percent still prefer the roti chana in Malaysia. 
Yeah. It, this is a bit more like like fried dough. It's very heavy. Deep fried dough, right? And this is the biggest difference I think I found so far. Yeah, this to all me the is like. Yeah. La, 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 la. Okay, he's still asking for more. He's asking for more. Yeah, yeah. Go, buddy. He's so happy. Okay. Chapati next. Let me put this here. Ooh, this looks really good though. Chapati? Like that's a pot. First impressions, it looks about the same actually. It does. Chapati looks very, very similar. It smells the same too. Oh, Kyron. You want really chapati? Like yeah. I need bread for these kids, man. I love bread. Oh, yeah, chapati. Gotta get some so, for these kids. Looks very similar. Tastes very similar. No one needs Actually, to me, this tastes like chapati in India. Really? Mm hmm. So, I guess chapati in America and chapati in. Malaysia and India, it's all the same. All tastes the same. Trying yeah, the sambar. This, this feels very, very nostalgic. I think I need it with curry mm. though. We got biryani still, and we got Maybe. mutton, mutton varavel or mutton paratil, I don't know. And chicken curry. Also, first impressions, it doesn't look very impressive. It looks like one color, one item, and I feel like the biryani in Malaysia is like bright and yellow and orange and Oh yeah, it has like the little orange grains and yeah, stuff. Yeah, orange grains and stuff and it's like, it's more presentably nice. This looks a bit more looks bland, but you know, in the end it's all the case. So let's go in with it. So this is chicken biryani. I'm getting a chunk of chicken in there. Oh wow. What? It's spicier than I thought it was going to be. Really? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, that's spicy. That's very spicy. Still prefer the biryani in Malaysia, not gonna lie. This one's very spicy. It's very spicy. The flavor pro profile is not as complex as the one in Malaysia. It's like it's like one or two, maybe three different flavors coming together. Very spicy. Um, I like it, but I don't love it. So here we got chicken curry. Visually looks uh, maybe l less, less orange. Less orange, yeah. It's looks more, brown. more, yeah, more brown. Maybe there's no coconut milk in it. And I want it with... Okay, the chicken curry here is thicker than the one in Malaysia. But I think I still prefer the Malaysia one a bit better. The Malaysia one has probably MSG, <laughs> not gonna lie. Which gives it like the mm taste. Uh, it's okay. I'm gonna be controversial here. Oh, you, you like this better? It just tastes less... I don't know, it just... How do I word this? To me, this tastes homemade. Mm. It tastes very homemade. Like, I could just imagine going to somebody's home and eating it there like this. Wow, okay. I tried it with the chicken now. And the chicken is like... It's... It's fall break, off the bone. It's fall off the bone. It's so juicy and tender. Yeah, trying it with the chicken, I feel like... I wouldn't say it's better. But I say the chicken part of it is better. Not, I, the curry, I still think the Malaysia one is better. I like the Malaysia one, but this one honestly has just this really delicious okay. homemade yeah. essence about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, last major item here. They call this the mutton roast, but really it looks like uh, either a mutton waravo or a mutton paratil in Malaysia. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. It's so spicy. It's good, delicious, but it's very, very spicy. Very mm -hmm. This must be their best seller. So good. But yeah, very, very spicy. Very, very good. I'm just, my mouth's still burning. Very, very spicy. I love it. I love it. It's different. It's very, very different from like mutton barbell or mutton paratel in Malaysia. Yeah. What was the one your sister made on Christmas? What was that? Mutton what? Barbell. Barbell. I will take the one his sister made over this. Yeah. Akka, you're a great cook. Um, but this one, it's like. Probably the best mutton I've had in America. Yeah. Mutton is really soft, really nice. It doesn't have that like... Gaming I, taste to it? No, I think um, they add soy sauce soy in the one in Malaysia, oh, not here. This one I was getting a little bit of a tomato, tomato taste. What are we going to watch now? So good though. So good. So freaking good. It's really good. Okay, so last impressions. What do you think about the food in overall? Overall, I mean, I love it. Uh, I think the one that tastes the most like Malaysian, mm -hmm. Malaysia, is the chapati and the dosa. Um, I think what I would choose to order again would be the roti with the chicken curry, which sounds really basic. 
I'm sorry, guys. Um, but it's so Basic good. Malaysian white girl. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's just so it's just so comforting. I love comfort food. Yeah, and for me, you're right. Like so, basically, Indian food in America and Indian food in Malaysia, some of it is very similar. It's the others are not really, but at the end of the day, it is very good. Both are very very good. Which one would I pick? I'm biased. I'm from Malaysia. Obviously, I'm gonna pick Indian Indian food from Malaysia. Don't get me wrong. Indian food in here does cure all the like cravings that I have because it it's still Indian food right and it's so so good so which one I would reorder again if I come here 100% the mutton roast 100% I love the dosa so much uh, the dosa was really really good the roti it's not the same as Malaysia but I still order it it's good uh, what else sambar can't go wrong honestly I think I'd order everything again except for the brioche yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Everything, everything was delicious. So good. Say goodbye. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. See all things. Okay, fam. Uh, if you are in the area, Pleasanton, come check out um, Apakade. It's really good. It is genuinely my favorite rest Indian restaurant in all of America. I've been to so many restaurants it is my favorite also if you haven't already done it guys don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed we would really appreciate oh cost trying to turn in here uh we would really really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel because that helps us out in creating way more videos for you guys okay so thank you we love you